A new team of scientists is now helping with the grueling task of identifying victims of a suspected Indiana serial killer. We're talking about Herb Baumeister. The Hamilton County Coroner calls this new partnership a game changer. Jenny Runovich joins us live in studio tonight with exclusive reporting on this brand new partnership. Jenny. Yeah, and the coroner is collaborating with a world-renowned forensic lab down in Texas. They heard about the Baumeister case and they reached out with an offer to help. In a case that's gripped Indiana for decades, a team from Texas may now identify more victims more quickly at Fox Hollow Farm. Help examine the thousands of bone fragments found in Westfield, where investigators believe Herb Baumeister killed dozens of men. And it's now time that we bring that team together. We add additional team members and we treat this investigation for what it is. We have a large number of people that were victims of a homicide. The Texas scientists are with the Center for Human Identification at the University of North Texas. They'll provide DNA testing and forensic genetic genealogy to supplement work by Indiana State Police. Indiana is a busy place and that lab is a busy place. So we had to find a way to, to roll this investigation along a little quicker. And, you know, this, it was a blessing that they stepped up and offered their services. There aren't very many um, public accredited forensic laboratories in this space either. So we are in a unique position to be able to help out with this particular type of case. Chai has worked thousands of cases, ID'd victims of serial killer John Wayne Gacy. They're experts in testing bones degraded by time or fire, like some from Fox Hollow Farm. Five sets of those remains will be sent to Texas soon. They're crushed, they're small. Uh, they're burnt, um, so that makes DNA work challenging for the folks in the lab. I'd say if there's DNA there, we'll get it. The Texas lab, not the only new development in this case. In the next few weeks, nine Fox Hollow victims ID'd through Indiana State Police will be returned to family. Jellison taking them personally to loved ones. That's the purpose of this investigation. That's why we're here today, is not only to identify these folks, but it's to return them to their families. And he hopes this new partnership will lead to even more. So some more details on this, Anne. A grant is actually paying for the work by Chai, that lab in Texas, so no Indiana taxpayer dollars to pay for this. Also, we learned today that the coroner is actually adding to this investigation team in other ways. He is getting a mental health professional to try and help the families when he has to let those loved ones know that their loved ones have been identified in this case. You just got to respect his commitment to seeing this through. No one more dedicated. Yeah. Yeah. Jenny, thank you. Mm -hmm.